Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will solve the problem 5.1 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. In this problem, we have two parameters, material type having three levels 1, 2, and 3, and the temperature having three levels 15 Fahrenheit, 70 Fahrenheit, and 125. In this problem, we will also analyze the interaction effect of material types and temperature on the battery life. The battery life is our response variable. So our first step will be the input of this data into the Minitab software. In order to enter the data in a very easy way, we will click on STAT, then click on DOE, then we will click on Factorial, create a factorial design. In this, we have a general full factorial design. We have two number of factors, then click on the designs. And now we will have to enter the names after writing the names, now we'll have to select the levels. So there are three levels for both of the factors. And then after that number of replication, now this is most important. We will go towards the statement. So you can see the replication means that for each setting of the material type and the temperature, how many experiments or how many observations we have. So we will count one, two, three, four. These are the four observations taken at material type one and the temperature 15 degrees centigrade. Similarly, what are, what are these, uh, these observation? 174, so it's 1, 122nd, 153rd and 139. These are the key in the four observation that are taken for material type three and temperature type 70, uh, 70 Fahrenheit. Similarly, if we talk about here, so 20, 70, 82, 58. These are again the four replications that have been performed for the material type 1 and the temperature 125 Fahrenheit. So it means that we have four replications. So you will enter here four, then click OK. There is no blocking in this chapter. Now we will go towards the factor names. So we'll say yes, uh, we have the values at uh, 1, 2, 3 for the material. But for the temperature, we have 15 degrees Celsius. Then we have... I think uh, 70, okay, 70 uh, degree and then 125 degree. Then click OK and go to the option. Please uncheck this randomized run because it will create problem for you during the data entry. Then click on the result. Nothing to do here. Click OK and then click OK. So you will get here a design. Please maximize it so that you can easily view. It is a new sheet and then what we will do, we will we will write here our response variable battery life. Now we will start a data entry of the battery life. So you can see it here 115, 170, 125. Okay. So remember it. Now we'll go towards the question statement. So 115 is the first observation, 130, then 170. Is here, first observation for this set is 34, and then 125 is 20. So 130. Here I will enter 130. Then 34, 20, 34, then uh, 20. Likewise, I will have to enter. Then 215. So two, 2 here and 15 there. It is 150. And similarly, you can see it here. 270 is 136. 2, 125. It is 25. So now I will write here 136 and 25. Similarly, if we come down. Now we have here 315, 370, 3125. So here 3 and 15, it is 138. Then 3 and 70 is 174. So 138, 174. Now we have 3, 125. 3 and 125 here. We have the first observation equal to 96. So you can see here, we have entered the data for the first replication. Now the Second replication has been started again 115 that is like this. So here we have to enter the data for the second observation. So like 155, 40, 70. So I will write here 155, 40 and 70. Now 2 and 15. So we will have to enter 2 and 15. This is this one is 188. Then the second observation 122 and 70. So 188, 122 and 70. We have done with it. Now we will look for here 315, 370. So 3 and 15. So we have second observation equal to 110, 120, 104. 
so 110 120 and 104 now 115 again so it is now third replication to save the video time i am entering the data however just for your information that at the third replication at 115 is 74 then at 170 is 80 and then 1 125 is 82 similarly for 2 and 15 our third replication is 159 106 and 58 now for 315 370 our third replication is 168 150 82 now we will now i will start for the fourth replication you can see it here for 1 and 15 it is 180 75 and 58 for 2 and 15 is 126 115 and 45 here the fourth replication for the last set 3 and 15 so 315 is 160 139 is for 3 and 70 and for 3 and 125 this is 60 now to perform the data analysis after the completion of data entry click on stat then click on doe then again factorial analyze the factorial design here select the response click on this battery life and then click here select it will move here then you will have to click on graphs in the graph select on all four in one this is used to check for the assumptions ANOVA assumption click OK and then click on results in the result click on expanded table because it will give us the percentage contribution of each factor and the interaction on the response variable nothing else to do at this stage and then click OK so you will get the result first of all come down and have a look at the assumption checking using the residual plots so now this is one is our normal probability plot and here is our histogram of the residuals. So both plots are depicting that the data is following normal distribution. There are no significant outliers away from this line or the data isn't seems to be having any problem of the skewness. Now we'll talk about this one. Fitted residual versus fitted values. In this plot you can see here that there is a central dashed line at the zero above here is there are few uh, points so these are the positive residuals and below here are the negative residuals since you can see that it is quite obvious that the number of the residual above this central line are, are around about equal to the number of points that are below this central dashed line so it means that the data has equal variance and the assumption of the homogeneity of the variances has been satisfied now we'll come towards our last it is for uh, the graph has been plotted for the residuals and the observation order so you can see it here in this problem there are no cyclic patterns no points uh, no seven points that are continuously going above or continuously going down so and again there are no uh, five points out of six that are continuously uh, above from this uh, center line and likewise there are no four, five points out of six that are continuously below this central dashed line so it means that data has no problem of the autocorrelation it means that the data set is independent of each other click ok our assumptions has been satisfied now we will go towards our results first of all model summary it depicts that 76.52% variation in the battery life has been explained by material type temperature and its interaction now we will come towards ANOVA table so you can see it here material type first of all we see that 13.76% variation in the battery life has been explained by the material type and the p-value associated with the material type is less than 0 0.05 0 0.05 is our basically alpha value or significance level so it is found to be a significant parameter we'll talk about the, now temperature the temperature has a very high percentage contribution of 50.38 percent on the battery life and the p-value is found to be 0 0.000 it, depicting that it is a significant parameter now to the interaction of the material and the temperature it has a percentage contribution of 12.38 percent on the battery life the p-value again is less than 0 0.05 so the two-way interaction is found to be significant now we will go towards this Pareto chart so here you can see on the y-axis b 
A and AB and there is a dashed line in the red color where it is written 2.052. This is basically the F tabulated value or the table or the value of the F that has been computed from the table. It is basically the cutoff value. If any of this horizontal bar that exceeds this dashed line, it means that this parameter or its interaction is found to be significant. Since here you can see the B, A and both A, B are passing this line. So it means that all of them are found to be significant where the B is, has the highest effect followed by A and the A, B has the least but significant effect. Now, in order to draw the main effect plot, click on stat, then click on DOE, then factorial. We have factorial plots in the factorial plot. We have only one response variable battery life. We have two parameter material type and the temperature. Then click on options. We have, we can include the title of the graph. Then click on graph. CSV we want a main effect plot, interaction effect plot as well. View model, all of the term has been included in the model. Then click OK and we will get our plots. So you can see it here. If we uh, select the material type 3, we will get the maximum of the battery life and the minimum of the battery life is for material type 1. And then for the temperature, we can see it here. At the least temperature of 15 Fahrenheit, we are getting our maximum battery life. Whereas the least life is for 125 Fahrenheit. It means that as the temperature of the environment increases, the battery life decreases. Now we will talk about our interaction plot. We have taken material type on the x-axis, whereas the mean battery life on the y-axis. The second factor temperature has been shown with the help of these three lines with different colors. So the blue line is for 15 uh, Fahrenheit, red for 70 and this green for 125. So you can see it here that although it is are getting the maximum battery life for material type 2 and for 15 Fahrenheit, but the 15 Fahrenheit is too much low. Maximum uh, areas where there's a population in the world, we have some kind of you can say 70 Fahrenheit is the common one. So for, for in the red color line, we'll see it here, this point that for the material type 3 and for 70 degree, uh, degree Fahrenheit. So this point, this red line is found to be the best one for the maximization of the battery life. Now we will optimize our response. Click on stat, then click on DOE, then factorial. Here is the response optimizer. I want to, my goal is to maximize the battery life. Then click on setup, nothing to do here. Then click on option, here in the option material type. So there are three options. We see that constraint to the region. It means that there are three uh, material type have been provided in this problem. Then for the temperature, again, constraint to the region means constrain the solution to the three uh, temperature ranges that have been already provided. Keep the confidence interval 95% two-sided, it's okay. Then go to graph, Up, we need the optimization plot, then go to results. Here we need parameter, solution, prediction, each and everything is okay. Storage, nothing we have, have to store, view the model. So all of the term have been included in the model, then click OK and now we will get our results. So numerically the solution is that for material type 2 and pressure type 15, we will get our battery life equal to 155.75. Similarly, uh, this is the multi-response prediction. Again, the same results and this is the plot. Here we can see that we get a D-optimal value of 0.8080. And the best setting is material type 2 and 15. How, however, practically when we talk about with respect to the engineering or manufacturing. So we'll see that the for material type 3 and the temperature 70 Fahrenheit is the best setting for the maximization of the battery life. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any question, please WhatsApp me, call me or you can email me at any time. Have a good day. Bye.